discussion today because I know that you don't intend that on that. So I just wanted to make that comment and hope you think about it. Uh, how, what is the role of the government in governance as opposed to the governors? Uh, and secondly, just to ask a procedural question uh, with regard to the discussion about comments made at committees. Am I mistaken when I think that the rules that govern council for meetings are the same rules that govern committees and therefore delegations and the whole thing is part of any committee, whether it has been used or not? Um, it's for the most sorry, for the most part I would say. So right now in the current uh, procedure bylaw, it talks about uh, some parts of that procedure bylaw applying to committees and commissions. But it goes further that a committee can have another uh, mandate and objectives terms of reference that further refines what their mandate is and the order of business. Uh, there is flexibility, as, as was pointed out, again, Councilor Anderson, this committee is there's a terms of reference. But there is the chair's discretion as well to invite right. public comments if that's appropriate. Having said that, the part on the agenda right at the beginning is approval of the agenda. So when an agenda comes up, it's I mean it should really technically say proposed. These aren't finalized agendas until that committee or council actually approves it. So at the adoption of agenda, if for example the public comment wasn't for whatever reason desired, that would be the motion saying, well, we're modifying the agenda to remove that. Now it's approved, that's the agenda we're going forward with. So with committees and commissions, they have some flexibility, but they also have to operate within the parameters of government's minutes. Uh, if it's a committee, they have to have at least one counselor on it. Um, that's open meetings, they cannot be closed, except subject to community charter, all those items. Okay, so do we have, outside of perhaps this committee, any other committee that has set up its own procedure? Council adopts those terms of references for those, and every committee has those. Well, every select and standing committee. Uh, there are the words committee used for something, but they're not true committees of council. I'm talking about uh, Advisory Committee on Environmental Sustainability Development Process Review Committee. Those are, they have to follow procedures that are set by council. Thank you. So, Mr. Bowman, and I'll just add to that, I don't want to belabor this, but uh, so, for example, I, uh, either by mistake or uh, on purpose, I um, mentioned that you were having public comment uh, before I started the adoption of the agenda. Um, that was for, and I meant, I said that because Council Bester had a lot of questions about that. Are we going to do the same all the way and all the time and all that stuff? So, um, this, this appears on here. We're going to adopt the agenda. Uh, if you object, this is the time to object. And it went, I shouldn't say it went nowhere, but there was no uh, motion, there was no objection, but, you know, other than uh, some talk on it, and that's it. that. Now, if, if there was a vote on it and said, no, we don't want public comment, then that would have been taken out, and the agenda would have been adopted after we Okay. Yeah. We got a lot of flexibility. I'm with you, Tim. We're good. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> oh, oh, Councilor Pagan. Yeah, I just want to comment on Mr. Mr. Bowen's question about the role of the, the government. <coughs> and, uh, you know, I, I think there's a lot of apprehension right now about how it is being done. And so, to me, it's really important that we come up with a proper solution that takes away the suspicion that that influence is not being very sufficient. And so that's the that's what we have. Great. Okay, thanks. And um, I just make one comment before we uh, start into uh, Mr. Jackson's uh, uh, report and the staff recommendation. Um, I think the idea is to get this done, and I'm not being facetious, before the next election. And, uh, and, and you know, I'm in no rush and uh, we've got the 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and we've got, we'll have more meetings. And in fact, we have another meeting next week on uh, Ms. Hapkirk's uh, recommendations next Wednesday or something. So, um, and uh, I think Mr. Jackson will um, take, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm sure a lot of people are concerned with. 
and but there is some hot uh, button topics like public comment, uh, committee the whole, uh, council uh, decorum. Those are kind of things that uh, would cause a lot of discussion. So I, I don't know if uh, we had a dis we had a, uh, a meeting yesterday, as I mentioned, and. Um, and uh, we discussed this, and we, we thought that we might bring these things forward uh, first um, because uh, they have to be addressed. Or they're probably uh, considered the important uh, topics, although these are all important, of course. And uh, I also want uh, to uh, let you know, and, and, and read through this, but uh, you know, the one is the, the first uh, item on the agenda is the agenda, and then we have the minutes, then we have um, uh, the report. And then it, and the uh, chronology of how this came about, and it's been two years in the making so far, total, give or take, a little more than that actually. And then we have uh, the, um, uh, actually Ms. Uh, Ms. Ross was uh, asking what the difference was between the, uh, <clears throat> not necessarily what the difference was, but why were some left blank and were some not left blank in the, um, in the procedure bylaw between the, uh, the current bylaw and the draft bylaw. And I think I, I answered that, that question. Uh, so, and, and that's that's what picks up what we're doing today.